yo, I don't know if you saw this uh, Juneteenth celebration situation that happened over here in Chicago, but it was massively crazy. You know, our city is just one wonderful, dope town, but, you know, and it actually didn't happen in Chicago. It happened in the suburbs, Willowbrook. 22 people shot, one dead on Juneteenth. Like, it's crazy, like the weekend of Juneteenth. Yo, like and subscribe to your boy Hood, man. I'm gonna hit y'all up with this little information. I don't know if you heard about it, but if you did, this would have went down. So, you know what? Let me let them tell you. You can just listen to the interview real quick. A shooting near Willowbrook, 23 people were shot and one person is dead. It happened around 12.30 this morning as people gathered to celebrate Juneteenth in a parking lot near Honeysuckle Rose Lane and Route 83. We have team coverage tonight. CBS 2's Sade Gray is live at the scene to kick us off. And Sade, you spoke with someone who was at that party. Yeah, that's right, Charlie. And she said that it was absolutely terrifying. People who live nearby say that this is an annual event that has been peaceful each year. But this year, the crowd was larger than before. It ended with several people injured and one person dead. And I couldn't believe it was happening here and well over. What was supposed to be a fun celebration for Juneteenth quickly turned into tragedy. It was at least, at least, a minute worth of shooting. An 18 year old girl who doesn't want her identity known says she attended the gathering and saw firsthand how it quickly got out of control. Once the girls started fighting is when I do believe the bullets or the guns started going off. DuPage County Sheriff's Office says a crowd gathered for a party in a parking lot near Hinsdale Lake Terrace and Honeysuckle Lane and Route 83 near Willowbrook. Police were already in the area monitoring the scene. Police were called away due to an alleged 911 call of a fight that had broken out nearby. So you can see that it's just really chaotic and it's just going down. Like the town, like the, the people, everybody wilding. So the question is, is Juneteenth going to start being a new holiday where everybody just kind of just wild out and do go for theirs and just black people going to shoot each other and it's going to be the new holiday that you can just look for Black people that go out and hurt each other. I hope not. <laughs> but I want y'all to tell me in the comment section what you think. Because 22 people shot, that is a lot of people. And it's sad because it's our holiday. It's the black people holiday. So it should never be a point where we just viciously try to attack each other. And for what? We all got to stay in the same community. We all got to go to the same jobs Monday through Friday what's making us so hurtful towards each other. And then it's supposed to be a holiday. It's like we were supposed to be the time frame of us being free. So literally this is what the holiday was. The last black people in Texas, Galveston, Texas was told they were free. And, and, and then they came down with these paperwork to prove it to the blacks because they didn't know it. And they were talking as white people saying, those black people down there still think they slaves. So they got together and rolled down there and told them that they wasn't. And then they started celebrating that time. It's more of a Texas celebration, but they took that one and made it worldwide. And so the question is, could they have made something else that we celebrated versus being something so negative? Because <clears throat> that could be a major reason why the youngsters don't have self-pride and self-belief because they're already looking at how it is to be a black person. And then you're looking at how you're treated as a black person. And then you're looking at how America treats us as black people. The holiday is also supposed to be a celebration of us getting around each other and just being happy that we survived or our generation survived from the beginning to now. You know, our family, the heritage. And so it's just none of this stuff is really being told or taught. And a holiday that wasn't even picked by us. And now you got black people who had nothing to do with the picking of the flag, nothing to take pick. We didn't pick the date. You know, we could have been celebrating some revolt that they had, that there was like this real strong revolt or, or you know, the rebuilding of Black Wall Street or anything, you know what I'm saying? But they said the day that they chose that this is America who chose this government the last day that you guys was considered slaves in 1865, 
in your own mind, because we had already uh, passed the proclamation, you know, the uh, declaration of whatever, Emancipation Proclamation, but uh, we didn't know it. Or certain areas was just too far away from that place. So they just didn't have no TV and the internet and Twitter and Instagram. So you had to go horseback or by word of mouth. And so in black people area, a lot of those people couldn't read anyway because they were forced that to be a crime. So you had you couldn't know what was going on until somebody came and told you. So that's why I say it's not nothing to necessarily celebrate of a happiness. It's actually negative. But this is what America chose after George Floyd died. And so we've been all celebrating as black people. And happily, I guess, because what else are we going to do? But you can see that the pride is not there. We didn't get a chance to choose the flag. We didn't choose the date. And it's a federal holiday, so everybody got to celebrate it. And it's almost like we have to wait for white people to do the thing that makes it a beautiful day. Like they got to make the party or they got to set up the event for television or the music event where they bring out John Legend and Aretha Franklin, rest in peace, to sing some song. And it's like, these are the things that's today's date when it's back in the day, it just didn't exist. Well, there's no other black holiday. But we should probably have been creating our own, you know what I mean, so that we could have a sense of pride for the younger generation because that's the people who actually did the shooting. The people that's young, they out there, they didn't nobody set them down. They haven't went through things, generations of things, saw things build, saw things come from nothing to something except themselves. They've just been children to now young adults to now they haven't really had a long time to do stuff. So their personal enemy going to be right up on each, in each other's face. They're themselves, their friends, the next door neighbors, the family members. Because if you, like when, when I was young, for instance, they had hip hop, it was not about killing. It was about rap. It was about blackness. It was about rap music lyrics and it was about blackness like talking your lyrics had to be about how cleverly you could talk about being a black person and and, and seeing yourself as a black man that's what hip-hop was how clever can you do these things how s clever can you speak and that would be what you heard in the music and not just one artist like every single song you heard even it, it was just the way it was unless it was an r b song singing about you know getting with a girl that's what people talked about in the music and then it changed obviously at a certain point people like to say the nwa people changed it and west coast changed it okay fine so then and it was already <coughs> excuse me <coughs> gangster rap in rap at that time but majority of the rap music, a major majority, only talked about being black and having blackness. Then that switched to killing, which it kind of still sustains to this day. Murder, killing, and all that shit is what's still in rap. So it gives a different depiction of your mindset. Then you're not thinking black first. You're not thinking I'm a black person. You're not even hearing that. But that's what you heard as I was a kid. And then they, the guys who was doing it in the raps, they connected it to religion the religion that they were because that's not the religion i even i never even heard of his religions until i came heard it through rap music like the five percenters and stuff like that I, I never heard of it until it came through hip-hop and then it's like oh wow we started learning more about it studying it because we heard it through music and it was young black dudes doing it but it was just something we never heard of they was from new york that's where mac rap music started from so this was something that i saw grow from that stage to the stage it is today so what youngsters haven't done yet is have something like that, where they watched it from that point to now. And, and, and it's just, they need that. They, and even if it could be Juneteenth, it just started in their young years, three years in, this could be something that they grab hold to and say, no, Juneteenth ain't that. We decide that Juneteenth gonna be this. If we are the free slaves, then that represents who I am. And so I'm going to decide what this Juneteenth means. And more people will just go, well, latch on to that. It, it wouldn't be like that thing would just be in some group or some small town. It would reverberate outwardly. You know, that's what I, I, I believe. But I want to know your opinion, too. Let me know what you think about Juneteenth being a holiday. Let me know what you think about these mass shootings happening around the country. Is Juneteenth going to be the next place where all the fightings and killings happen? You can rest assured it's going to be a shootout on Juneteenth. Somebody going to get shot. You could just wait for that to happen. It's going to be summertime anyway. 
And it's like, hey, people outside, wild and what you think. So let me know in the comment section. I'll hit y'all up in a minute. Thanks for listening.